Hello Earth Signs, what's up, what's up yo, what's cracking? My name's Esty and I help people to remember the naked truth of who they really are. This is going to be a reading for the Earth Signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, for the remainder of August 2020. Uh, so I'm going to do individually and then overall, like for the collective of the earth signs, lovely earth signs. Um, please keep in mind this may or may not resonate with you given this is a general reading. And so if it doesn't, then this wasn't for you. But if you are here, there must be something in this for you because you only attract that which you are a vibrational match to. Okay. So let's start your reading. Earth signs. By the way, if you want to do a, want to book a personal reading with me, um, information for that is down below in the description box. Whoa. Okay. Um, what is that? Okay. So we got the Knight of Wands in the reverse and the Two of Cups in the reverse. Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo. So how y'all doing? I know I haven't been around for a really long time. It's because I moved, I moved location, I moved uh, cities and it's just been, it's taken everything to uh, become grounded again so that I can give again. <laughs> the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. What is all these reversals? Okay. Okay, so please clarify. That one, okay. What? Oh gosh. Okay. So then we got the Three of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. Okay. And then one more round, please. Mm hmm. The three of cups. Interesting. Wow. We got all the threes now. Except for the ones. Okay, one more round, please. Uh huh. Ten of ones. The Five of Pentacles. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Wow. Okay. Earth Signs. What's cracking? That's not the best reading I've seen in, in, in a long time. Okay. So. Capricorn. Knight of Wands in the reverse. That's like um, being really passionate about something but the passion is ungrounded and it's either you're resisting it you're suppressing it or this is anger like a or just like some like a lot of feelings that are internal towards you towards yourself or yeah so so it's turning back around like it's turning towards you this passion could be that you Capricorn could be that all the things that you are passionate about such as you know Capricorns love their work so it could be that these things that you are passionate about such as your work um, it's just this um, I'm getting this feeling of how um, 
this passion is really like you need to express it and it's just been sort of burning you up like inside that is there's no space to express um your passion so it gets um so it, it turns around and it gets un ungrounded and maybe it's breaking your heart that uh you can't express this what you are passionate about or you can't work in the way that you used to uh, in the past or it could be that whatever whatever whoever you were passionate about there was a heartbreak there was uh, something that cut you deep um, and that might be why you are not expressing this passion but it's still there it's just it feels like either it's not expressed or it's towards you it could also be that there was some uh, some heartbreak that had you be like oh okay so let me be passionate about myself instead of like anybody else or anything else so to give that to yourself which is not a bad thing but um but still the knight of wands is um it's a it's pa passionate that is passion that is um ungrounded but so you have the three of swords and the three of cups which is a reunion i'm hearing or just you know meeting meeting people um Okay, I'm, I heard that uh, some of you, this getting cut, because I heard getting cut, right? And it's like, and then the passion is towards yourself. So I'm hearing some of you um, got a tattoo recently or are getting one now or is in your very near future. I got one and I'm Capricorn rising. Um, and and it's, and it was a good time or, or it is a good time or that's that's what's... That's what's coming, like for Capricorn, for the rest of um, of this month. Just having a good time. This is drinks with friends. Could be that you're invited to like a wedding party, a wedding celebration. Um, this could be uh, being with people that you love, or being with a person that you love, or it could be that whatever this uh, heartbreak was in the past like whoever caused that is you're gonna meet this person like very soon um and there is something about this um the things and people that you're passionate about um it's like it's been troubling you for for a long time that you couldn't express that like you couldn't work let's say the way that you used to it's just you know life is not as it has been life is not as simple as it was before um okay capricorn and i said taurus and virgo okay taurus hmm, interesting taurus so you got the Two of Cups in the reverse, the Three of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands in the reverse. So it's like, Taurus, you feel like, I feel like you are um, resisting, um, finishing a, an old cycle. This is like something that you've been burdened with, that you've been carrying around for a long time. This is um, ending that cycle and putting down those burdens and it comes out in the reverse. So either it's that you are resisting uh, stopping, finishing this cycle, you are resisting putting down these bur burdens of the past so that you can build something together with somebody, which is most definitely about um, a partnership. This could be, um, this is an equal part, this is about an equal partnership that is present in your energy, but again, this is in the reverse. So it's, um, there's like, so I'm hearing uh, this could be about, this could be the thing that you're not willing to let go of in the past that burdens you. 
but at the same time you're trying to build something while you're resisting putting down these burdens. You can't, you can't, obviously, you, you can't build a new partnership, you can't build love, you can't build something together with somebody if you're, if you're walking around like this with all these burdens. So, you know, I think the question for you is, uh, what is it that has you um, not let go of this? Why? Why are you holding on to this? What, what is it? And it's, it could be internal. It could be absolutely like, um, I, I mean, that it's, um, of course it's internal, but I mean that um, like this is towards yourself, could be. That this thing that you're carrying now, it's not really about anybody else, but about yourself. But you know, the energy of this um, equal partnership, and this is love, this is... Um, This is uh, the possibility of, uh, you know, mutual love, um, equal partnership, something beautiful. And the energy is there, but it's in the reverse. And I'm feeling, um, I'm feeling resistance on, on your part, Taurus. Or it could be that... Um, It could be that something, something, there is this thing and, and something didn't work out and now you're trying to build something while also carrying these burdens uh, from the past, which is not, that's not the best um, tactic. Um, so then you have, um, sorry, Virgo has the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And the uh, Four of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. So, um, Virgo. Because, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm laughing because the Knight of Pentacles is, uh, is very Virgo, actually, because this is somebody who is meticulous and they have learned from the past. Like, they know that what they sow, they will reap. Um, and so that's why they are cautious uh, with moving forward with an offer. Um, this could be you or your person. Um, or what, if there's an offer that you're waiting for uh, to come towards you, um, you might be waiting for an offer to come towards you. Somebody extending a, a, a real solid offer that is a new beginning towards you and it's like it, the energy is there but it's like it's not coming and it's like it's towards yourself so maybe this is kind of trying to say to you that you need to give to yourself first that which you wish to experience um but when this comes in because eventually i have a feeling that whatever is this offer that you're waiting for to come to come towards you it's going to come in uh, but maybe it is you that is resisting. Because <laughs> the Four of Cups, is, this is the energy of either rejection, being rejected, or, um, or, or the feeling of overwhelm. So you might be the one that's in the way of um, receiving this, this um, offer. Or it's like you are... This could be that you are so meticulous and so um because Vir virgo wants perfection and and you have the mind of an architect and you want to like you know plan everything like really really meticulously 
so that when uh, you extend this offer or when this ha whatever this offer this so this solid offer for a new beginning or something like that that so you want it to be perfect and so when, if it's not perfect and if it's not architecturally like designed and expected and all that then you're gonna um, reject it and maybe maybe it would be a good idea to um, to let go of your perfectionism <laughs> just for the remainder of um, of August because you might be the one that's in the way uh, of um, this whatever this is happening and then uh, so it's like so it's like you are the one that's sitting under the coconut tree or it might be your person that all of these energies they can flip-flop so it could be you or the other person it could apply either way um, but it's like if it's you sitting under a coconut tree being like in your own way and then you are the one that feels <laughs> left out in the cold you're the one that feels that um, that has the poor me um, poor me uh, poverty mindset and uh, victim mindset and so for you Virgo the thing about the five of pentacles so that is your energy pentacles is Virgo um, it's like the funny thing is that all, all together you get uh, six of these pentacles right so it's, it's like you you feel you feel poverty and you are in this poverty mindset because this is not coming to you but like if you compare it this is five and this is one so you do have this and that's the thing about this that, that there, there is this church where these people could go in like the church is right there but they are not inside they are outside so it's like it's that's what I'm saying poverty mindset that is it's your yourself in you yourself imposed like you feel like this when you have everything it's what you want what you expect is right there it's right there for you it's like these people only need to go into the church so they could be warm and indoors not outside in the cold you see and that's really like the message in this that um, if you notice your own abundance that's what you will attract more of um, towards yourself and uh, yeah it's either it's so it's so moody Virgo it's so moody that it's like you either you reject something or you feel rejected but but either way it's it really it feels like you are in your own way like I said in the beginning you need to give yourself first that which you wish to receive because when you give that to yourself then that's what you're gonna attract from the 3d reality Okay, so and then let's see now the overall. So um, the overall is <laughs> okay. Knight of Wands in the Earth signs. So for the Earth signs overall, like you, despite uh, anything and everything, you are still um, having a good time, or like trying at least trying your best to to have a good uh, have a good time despite any of it and you you are you do you do have like it's laced with um maybe some drinks with friends or some and there's a lot of meeting people and there's a lot of um build like you're trying to like build something together uh, with another person and have some good times or you're trying to meet this person but there is but there is some heartbreak and there is this um, not willing to let go of uh, of these um, burdens from the past which then ultimately you are in your own way basically 
and maybe you are it's very interesting because the the way this is the way that this is looks like in the reading is I'll try and show you. Look, this this is what it looks like. So if I turn that around, right? It's like um, your energy definitely wants to go towards this two of cups, some kind of partnership, an equal loving partnership. This could be about a business partnership. Most likely it's not because we have ones and, and I mean, Knight of Wands and uh, Knight of Pentacles and um, And it feels like this, so the feminine side is like slow and this is like an old energy, like Capricorn, like an old person, like Capricornian energy is like an old, old, old style, old, old person energy. That somebody who is really um, th like thoughtful, meticulous, like they know their stuff, they know they know exactly like they go slow because they know that what they sow they will reap and so this feminine energy is sort of like is there with this solid offer and they're like just standing there and um and it's like it, it, it looks like <laughs> the masculine energy is the one who is um passionate but it's like a little bit ungrounded still and it's like and I think why it's ungrounded is this um, somebody sitting under a coconut tree not noticing that the divine is um, giving them something, them feeling like they are, uh, that this poor them, poor them, when in reality it's, um, the, there is this heartbreak in the past and in reality it's them who can let go of this, uh, these burdens from the past and they can go into that they can go into that church but anyway so if this is all about like just your energy is that your and in your energy you you really want to go towards this uh, partnership there is some kind of partnership in you and it's like you really want to go towards it but you're not going towards it right it comes out in the reverse so it's like it's all there but it's like you're resisting this um or it's like very much just like it it exists in your internal world and you're not expressing it and you're not expressing it because of some heartbreak uh, from the past and um, you possibly in trying to distract yourself you've been trying to distract yourself with uh, good times you know friends uh, drinks uh, possibly like a lot of drinking um, and trying to like be with people but then this has always been like in the background this um, partnership and then um, now it seems like um, the energy is there to build something but you can't because you're you're still carrying these burdens resisting ending that cycle from the past which uh, caused you heartbreak and um, and so that's really this um, resistance is I think what's um, what has you um, not express um, this passion that you have and not extend this offer that um, it's like it's like you 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 wanna it's like you wanna or like you, the energy is there for you to um, to extend this offer or receive this offer and um, and you were not and it's like there's also the divine is like reaching the divine is giving you um and like a divine gift of love this is um, a new beginning of love but you're just like looking at your old story of how love or relationship used to be for you and you're like uh-uh like uh-uh this is this ha this is too much i had enough i can't take i can't take this like can't take this because the past whatever i had in the past has been too much or was it? It was too much, so I I can't. But it's a, but it's 
that is this is coming from the divine like out, out of you know literally the heavens are trying to give you a new beginning in love and there you are sitting under a coconut tree feeling sorry for yourself in this poverty mindset poor me when everything is literally like the, the, you know the the abundance is right there it's right there for you you have everything you have everything um and you know you have there is the energy of you know this coming to, to fruition and i think the what like what will turn all these energies around will be um to to finish this cycle from the past to let go of these burdens from the past what is that is that some like shadow work or some shadow work or some healing work um So what's also very interesting is that progressively the the three of uh, the th three of swords turns into three of pentacles. So it's like it might be that whoever is in, in your life right now, like you are working through this, like because this is working together, working on something. It's about contracts. It could be that. This is your soul contract, that this was your soul contract and your that the fact that you're working through this together is also part of your soul contract. Which then goes into the four of cups, which then goes into the three of cups. So eventually it feels like even though you're reluctant, there is some um, there is some kind of um, good times or meeting or or because you are reluctant, you're trying to dist distract yourself when the solution is really to let go of this. And, uh, and to just look where you are. Look what is being provided and given to you. See that what you need is right there. Okay. Because ultimately it's um, as within, so without. So um, feeling feeling poor or feeling like um, you're left out in the cold or feeling like you, you don't have something that you think you should have or that you want to have. It's literally a feeling like... like because on the other side of this wall is everything these people need in, in that in that very moment. So it's like in a way it's just um, looking at things from different perspective. Okay, I hope this was helpful. It's my prayer and, and my intention that this has been of true service to you. Thank you for watching. If you like personal reading, information for that is down below in the description box. Uh, please like uh, this video if you like this and uh, share and subscribe to my channel it means the world to the channel when you do and thank you so much again for watching i see you when i see you namaste and i hope to all our relations we're all related bye